What's up, people of the internet? My name is Nathan, and today we are back in Minecraft for another episode. By the way, I hope you guys like my new skin. Uh, I made it, um, I've been recently watching The Walking Dead, and I've got inspiration to make kind of like an apocalypse skin. I think it looks sick. I have like this ragged shirt on. I lost my other shirt. I think it's cool. I like it, and that's why I did it. And the arm looks sick. It's great to look at. Now, I did a little off-camera grinding, and by off-camera grinding, I mean I just sorted all the stuff. Uh, it's a little bit of a mess still, but that's not the main point of the video, okay? All of you that think this is the main point, it's not. It's really not. My main point is over here. This area right here needs some, uh, some work. It needs some work. Okay, so let's just write this down real quick. 63 is the level here. 63. Let's put that. And I'm going to go check. I want to connect this to that. That area over there with the sheep. <clears throat> so I want to find out how low it is. And then I want to adjust the hill to that height. I don't know how to describe it. I'll just do it and I'll show you as I go. So this is 68. So this is five blocks higher than where we are right now. So I'm going to make a valley. Just a little cut through dirt. That's going to head right to the mainland now we're gonna bust through a cave apparently uh, I'm right now just breaking these shovels that's why I'm using these and not anything else uh, we'll try to block this off I might have to do it again later and we're just going for this kind of aesthetic aesthetically pleasing area that can go through this hill um i kind of want to leave like a bit of an overlay so that if you ever cross by you won't have any trouble you know okay open this up okay so we're over here now i think i might want to open this up just a tad huh Hmm. Okay. Now the harder part. Figuring out layers. Okay. I think we got it. I think we got it. No, we don't. Okay. Now I think we got it. Okay. Let's go get some uh, slabs. We need some half slabs to make this look nice, beautiful, and peaceful. Relaxing. Tranquil. Okay. Let's go over here and let's just do this. Because I want a way to get to the other side a lot quicker. And it doesn't seem to go very fast right now with the other way. Okay, again, I just need to tighten this up just a bit. The dock is kind of getting shut down a little. Just so that I can have, like, some space to walk around up here. Uh, and then this comes in. This is the main point of this video, to be honest. Uh, we're going to build one further out, because I dislike... I just like things looking weird. I'll admit. F, okay. I'm hitting it with a pickaxe. It's kind of cursed. People might hate me for it. Okay. Nope, I have that out. Reapers, jeepers. Oh, no. This is cursed. This is, this is so cursed. This is cursed. This is, this is cursed. This is the definition of cursed. Y'all ever seen anything more cursed than this? Yeah, no, I didn't think so. Y'all never seen nothing. Alright. So is it here? Nope, that's cursed. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. And of course, you can go on and you can make this thing a little wider. Just for more, more pleasurable access. Maybe extend this by one. Just a little. Just to get some thickness out of it. 
Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I kind of dig this. I dig this. I dig this with a shovel. That's cool. That's cool. So, this is just supposed to be a way that we can get up here. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, no problems. You know how it is. And I don't want to have problems, but problems kind of just go with me wherever I go, so. And again, up here, I kind of wanted it to be equal, you know? So, just because I am doing this, that it doesn't affect. Just because, like, I'm building an underground, I don't want it to affect the actual, like, the speed of the town. The speed, you know? You know how it is? Beautiful. This is magnificent. Balance has been restored to the lands. I have no flagging clue what the flag this is, so I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to even this out just a bit. Because eventually, I want to move the farm to this side of the compound. I want to move it all over. I need, really need to get another, sho another shovel. A shovely boy. But uh, I like it. I think it's really nice. I might extend this again. Again, just for more open, so I don't have to deal with running into blocks while I'm coming quickly through here to breed my sheep or shear them. And I think it looks nice. We might patch some areas that are kind of gross, like this. I'd rather build it out of dirt. Maybe one day we'll switch it. Just kind of quick patches here and there, just for quality of life. You know, life is so short. Might as well live in quality. Nathan, 2021. Okay. Like, now we got... I wanna cry. Oh, yeah. I wanna cry. I wanna cry. Okay, crying is finished. Back to existing. Okay. Shawooey. Uh, I have a bet on me for this actual reason for stupidity like this happening. But... Just some base maintenance. I was thinking that that was a pretty chill episode idea. Just some base maintenance. Because our base is in shambles after the Great War of 82. And I feel it's very important that we get back on track. Back on the start of what the plan is. One day I want to corral these cows over to, the, to the, the, the work side of the compound. But for now, we're living on this side. Now... There's a few adjustments that I want to make. I really do. I want to get crack a on some, some things that have been bugging me. Over here, we have a villager farm, and we're supposed to be getting it operational so that I can... Ooh, actually, I realize I have 30 levels. I could do some stuff with that. But, like, over here, for instance, we have this thing laid out and just ready to be made. It's just a matter of building up the framework, put a roof on it, light it up, and then get some zombie villagers. That's really the only goal. And then the sooner we get a zombie villager, the sooner we get mending. And, of course, in case you don't know, mending is, like, the best enchant in Minecraft, in my opinion. <sighs> Never be too uh, safe nowadays with all, of, with all that's going on, you know. You don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, now. That'd be... I wouldn't be right. So, I also did some smelting off camera. I smelted all our ores because I felt like no one wants to see that. That's the boring part of Minecraft. No one wants to see me smelt up some ores. Like, what is that? Uh, as I stated, I sorted my chests. I got a hell of a lot of cobblestone. What else do I have? I have dirt in this chest. We're collecting dirt. And in this chest, it's plants down here. It's kind of weird. It's plants and food, by the way. It's not just plants. I know you might have saw the flopper in there. All my Fortnite players will understand. Okay. Let's go again. Round three. Can we get... See, that's Fortune 2. That is Fortune 2. I don't want to deal with that. Fortune 2 is not good. Uh, not good whatsoever. You know what? It's one enchant level to put sharp two fire aspect. Ooh. Fortune two. Dag numb it, dude. Dag numb it. Efficiency two. Sure. Why the hell not? Efficiency four. That's more like it. That's more like it. 
That's what I like to see. I like to see good enchants for the price of nothing. Okay, so there's a few things that we got to get in order, and it's very, very important. Mining. We have to go more mining. We don't have enough anything, to be honest. We need more... Quartz would be nice, now that I think about it. Quartz would be hella nice. Ooh, an Andy boy. We need Ender Pearls, so it's worth a shot. Um, Ender Pearls, as well, is a very, very important thing. If we're going to beat the Ender Dragon eventually, I need Ender Pearls. I think I have, like, two. And in case you... Oh, three. In case you don't know the speedrunners method, it's piglins, and I have done the speedrunners method, and it's really effective, and it's just worth it. In case you don't know, piglins will trade you ender pearls for gold. And I feel like that change, the best change known to man. You know what, let's go to the nether right now. But it is the best change, in my opinion, known to man. That is the best thing they could have changed for one reason, to be honest, and that is no one, and I mean no one, wants to do what they want you to do. Wait, what was I even talking about? Piglins, Ender Pearls. Ender Pearls are hard. They're such a pain to get, and no one wants to do it. And if you do like to do it, you're kind of cringe and enjoy your pain and suffering. Well, I enjoy uh, Utopia. True homies will know what I'm talking about. Okay, Piglins are up there. So I go up here. Uh, quartz, in case you don't know, so one of the best ways to get XP in Minecraft, well, from an ore anyway, it's everywhere, and quartz is a nice block in my opinion, so I usually mine it up, it's just fun, it's nice, it's a peaceful time, it really is. Mining quartz, I've done so much quartz mining in my day, like, it went from, it used to be an okay way of getting XP, everyone knew that quartz was, yeah, it's a good way to get XP, and eventually people found better methods to get fortune and stuff. But I stuck to this method. I'm not kidding. I stuck to the quartz mining. I would have like 30, 40 levels worth of quartz. Then I do a big enchanting run. Get nothing and then mine more quartz. Because it gives good XP. It's fun to mine. There's nothing really I can complain about quartz. Besides the fact that it's dangerous. Especially more now that the update's out with the nether. The nether has never been dan more dangerous. And it's kind of sketchy. Especially in hard mode. Piglins hurt in, in netherite armor. It hurts still. But. You never know, man. You never know. Like, look at all the quartz around here. Uh, I'll kill this guy. Right. Oh, there's the XP I needed. See, so now I'm level 30. Do I go home, pop an enchant real quick? Or do I come back with 33 levels and go for a bigger one? Again, big enchant that you really, really want is Fortune 3. Fortune 3 and Unbreaking, I feel, is more important than efficiency, even. Fortune 3 is your bread and butter. And then later on, if you're going for construction, for instance, since I'm a builder, I like construction stuff, I would go for uh, Silk Touch. It's actually one of my favorite enchants for the reason that when you go mining, I'd like to use Silk Touch sometimes over Fortune because not only does it take up less inventory space, then instead of Cobblestone, I get Stone. And Stone, it, in my opinion, is just a better block because I can turn it into Stone Bricks. And I'm an addict when it comes to Stone Bricks. Stone Bricks, uh, the new Black Stone Bricks, are some of my favorite bricks ever to be in Minecraft. And I'm very happy when they added some variety because like, bro, no one wants the same blocks. And then when they... They add some variety. It, it adds some more uh, intelligent design. So, I'd like to think of myself as a pretty good Minecraft builder. Obviously, not a god. I'm not one of those kids that build, like, replicas of the Eiffel Tower or crap. But, like, I'd like to take myself as a mediocre. I'd like to think I do my best and people are okay with my best. I feel like you don't always need 100% all the time. That's a good thing in life. Don't overdo yourself. People actually don't want 100% all the time. You can take breaks. And that's, I feel like, a code that everyone should live to. Take breaks, relax, don't overwork, and have a good time. It's very important to enjoy what you do, or you won't want to do it as well. Fun uh, working tips with Nathan, the worst YouTuber on the planet. I actually uh, don't think I'm the worst. I think there are some bad ones. I'm not going to mention names. Uh, you know who you are. Okay. Enchantments. 
enchantments, enchantments, enchantments. By the way, I was kidding with the whole, you know who you are, because I don't know any bad YouTubers, wink. Okay. See, efficiency four, and then you get a scammed enchant like that, and then you want to cry inside, and you want to just like, you want to you wanna open your eyes, and you want to ball, you want to ball inside, and I don't blame you. I'd want to, too. Oh, wait, I did. Yeah, I don't know. I hope you guys didn't enjoy. I'm going to end this here, I think. We're going to have to find a way to get a ton of levels real quick. If you guys did enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Peace, peace, peace. Thanks for watching.